नमस्सर्वेभ्य स्वागत कक्षाया प्राथनया प्रारंभ कूम गुरुर्ब्रह गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरु साक्षात् परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा ओम तत्सत श्रीकृष्णा नम अस्त अद अस्म प्रथम पाठ से तृतीय भागा पठ्य है प्रहेलिका प्रहेलिका इत्युक्ते किम अत्र श्लोकमेक रचयति कवि तत्र किमपि वस्तुनाम वा किमपि अज्ञातरूपेण स्थापयति सह क्विज़ अज्ञातूपेण स्थापय तो अत्र अंतिम पादे प्रश्न करोति किमेत वद इति एवं भवति साक्षात प्रश्न सर्वत्र भवति इति नास्ति सर्वत्र सूचना एव सैत अंत गत्वा अस्म ज्ञाते उत्तर दातव्य अस्म एक प्रश्न से किमी अत्र प्रहेलिका एवं अस्ति देर आर् मेनी एनिग्मैटिंग रिडल्स इन संस्कृत विच प्रोवाइड फूड फॉर द माइंड दे आर् कॉल्ड प्रहेलिका प्रहेलिका इज अफकोर्स प्लूरल प्रहेलिका इज एक वचन इन संस्कृत इन दिस सीरीज सच रिडल्स इन वर्स फॉर्म आर् गिवन ओके सो लेट अस रीड दिस वन स्लोली अस्थि नास्ति शिरो नास्ति बाहुरस्ति निरंगुलिहि नास्ति पाद द्वयम गाढम अंगमालिंगति स्वयम अस्थि नास्ति शिरो अस्थि नास्ति शिरो नास्ति बाहुरस्ति निरंगुलि नास्ति पाद द्वयम गाढम अंगमालिंगति स्वयम सो वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी सिंपल टिट बिट्स ऑफ सेंटेंस पीसेस आर देर सो अस्थि नास्ति अस्थि अस्थि मीन्स Uh, the bones structure of the body asthi okay so sometimes we are kind of familiar because in our hindu tradition we have this thing that after uh, death we collect the uh, fragments of ash and burnt bone and call it asthi that is actually the remains so basically asthi is actually the asthi panjara or what we call the bone structure of the body okay asthi nasti so whatever that is being talked about by the kavi he says it doesn't have any uh, uh, ribs and other contents within it within it okay it is bereft of the bone structure okay number one clue shiro nasti shiraha this is actually a visarga transform so shiraha nasti nasti first of all let's understand what is nasti there is a dhatu called as dhatu which is the same as to be to exist that kind of meaning is there in the as dhatu its uh, uh, prathama purusha ekavachana form is asti so asti without the maha prana it's a lower case takara okay i'm just using maha alpa prana takara okay so asti staha santi asi staha stha asmi swaha smaha so that is the variation of as dhatu okay so ramah asti ramau stah ramah santi okay tvam asi yuvam as as asi uh, as uh, as uh, just three asti stah santi a stha stah stha so yuvam stah yuyam stha ओके एंड देन अहम अस्मि आवाम स्वह वयम स्मह ओके सो व्हाट इज व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी सेड देयर 
is Rama or Rama is there. Two Ramas are there. Three Ramas are there. You are there. You two are there. You are all are there. I am there. We two are there. We are all there. So that's exactly what this verb set is. OK, it's a whole sentence. So if you add this uh, nai pratyaya, we call it nai pratyaya. Nai in the nai, the i is the technical addition. Na is what remains. And in, in the places where the dhatu begins with a swara, like here akara, it is beginning, right? Asti. So since the kriyapada is starting as a something, the nai pratyaya remains as a nakara. Otherwise, it will become an akara sometimes, akara. Okay, to negate. So what is this nai pratyaya? It is to negate the action. It indicates the absence of the action. So every action can be negated to create a sub action called absence of that action. Okay, so here nasti is a sandhi of that nai with the asti. Na asti, nasti. Okay, so in this case it has been integrated into the dhatu. So nasti means not there. So asti nasti means the bone structure not there. Shiraha nasti means the head is not there. Shiraha head is not there. Bahu rasti, bahuhu asti. Here also there is a visarga, but it has become a repamsha. This ra, we call it repa as an akshara. Okay, we don't call it rakara. We call it repamsha, and rakara is used for the swara r r. Okay, so to avoid the confusion, we don't call it rakara, we call it repa. Okay, it's a technical variant title given to avoid confusion. So, bahuhu asti, bahu rasti. So, that is called visarga repa sandhi. You will learn that more in the uh, Vyanjana sandhi set when you do shiksha level. Okay, third, third level, you will be taught, taught all this. But I'm just introducing you because we will encounter a lot of them. I'm introducing you. Bahuhu asti. So, Hand is there. Hand is there. Okay. Then nirangulihi. Okay. Angulihi nihi ni nir angulihi. So this means actually without fingers. Angulihi means finger. So without finger. There is hand without finger. Of course, you can extend it to fingers as an interpretation. Okay, so nirangulihi. So the hand is without fingers and that is there for this item, whatever we are talking about. So it's an item which doesn't have any bones inside. Okay, or you can call it doesn't have, really have a body inside maybe, doesn't have a head, but does seem to have hands, but it is without any fingers. Okay, nasti padadvayam. So here they have reversed the, uh, they have again used the nasti. Okay, here they just left the asti nasti part. So nirangulihi is a qualifier to bahu. Okay, nirangulihi bahu rasti, like that we have to read. Here, padadvayam nasti, we have to reorder that way. Padadvayam nasti, padadvayam the two feet. Okay, that is not there. The pair of feet is not there. Padadvayam nasti. Okay, so here when you add this dvaya suffix to an item, it becomes a singular reference to the pair. Okay, so padadvayam is actually ekavachana, but it embodies two items. Okay, so padadvayam, that's a dvitya vibhakti ekavachana nasti. Mm, no, it's prathama vibhakti only. Huh? So padadvayam na asti. So two feet are not there. Okay. Gardam, so because it is ekavachana, you can use the ekavachana asti to associate with it. Okay. Huh. Then, gardham angam alingati swayam. Gardham, very intimately, very strongly. Okay. And then, angam, the body. Alingati, it uh, wraps itself or it embraces. Okay. Alingati swayam, it itself. So, the item that I am talking about, the Kavi says, it itself hugs the body intimately. Okay, so very, very nice, very beautifully full clue, very easy clue. So they start with a very easy prahelika for us. Okay, so it has neither bone nor head, has arm but no fingers, has no legs and it hugs you tight, what it is. Okay, here they have extended the swayam as to mean us. Okay, so here you can take it as swayam to the item or swayam to us. Okay, all right, and hugs you tight. Okay, what is it? Very easy. 
all of us know the answer, right? Somebody can jump in and give the answer. Shirt. 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 So shirt has a specific name in Sanskritam that is called Yutakam. Yutakam. Okay. Yutakam. So remember this one. Yutakam. So any top uh, cover like you use um, is you know of this nature, T-shirt or a shirt, etc. You can call it Yutakam. Okay. Is there a is, is there a question, Bagini? Uh, Vishnu Priya Bagini, is there a question? Uh, no, no, sorry, sir. No, oh, no problem, no problem. I think it was unmuted accent. I'll mute you. Okay, okay. So you takam. I think somewhere later, probably in the word sets, we'll be learning about a few cloth names. So maybe that will come. I don't recall now, but. Hopefully we will again see it there. So let us read it once more. Asti nasti shiro nasti bahurasti niranguli nasti padadvayam gadam angamalingati swayam. Sounds like some mantra, but you know, no, it's actually a prelika. Okay. So next section uh, Sangrahya Vishayaha. Sangrahya Vishayaha. What is Sangraha? Sangraha is to collect. Sangrahya is that which is collectible. Okay. Vishayaha. So such items are uh, things that are collectible. Okay. So here obviously these are some specific one-off verses. Okay. Which are of great significance for us. Okay. Uh, so either they are very, very, very popular uh, opening prayers. Or early morning, we start with uh, reciting that mentally sometimes or even orally as we sit up. Okay, these kind of verses uh, are taught in this section. Okay, so in this series, we give one or two verses to be recited every day. The meaning is also given to be recited in the sense which are recited by many of us. Right from childhood, it has become a paddhati to uh, to be taught to recite this, to have a holy start to the day. So it's nice prayers. Okay, we start our classes also with this one. So Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. So there are two references to Brahma. So you should be very careful that the Kavi is very carefully distinguishing between the two. The first line is about the, 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 the triplet of gods that we celebrate, the uh, Chaturmukha Brahma. In fact, we in Sanskrit Vangmaya, we identify him as Chaturmukha Brahma, okay, uh, who is born of uh, Shiva according to mythological stuff and all. So Chaturmukha Brahma, we call him the, uh, the manifestation of the creator in this world, okay. So he is a manifest creator of this world. Uh, but only very, very, very few temples are there in his name. Very rare, okay, to find uh, Brahma wow. temples. Okay, so that is Chaturmukha Brahma. Then there is Vishnu himself, okay, and then there is Maheshwara, Ishwara. So uh, Ishwara in the Vedic sense is simply used to refer to that uh, one single entity called God. Okay, here we use Maheshwara, Ishwara in the Laukika sense of the manifested uh, Ishwara. Okay, so these they are manifested gods for us. So here these guys are being given the title of Guru, means they are people of significant uh, uh, things to teach. They are our gurus in a sense that they teach us many things. Okay, through the through the Puranic uh, teachings, we get many things from them. So, Guru Brahma, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devaha Maheshwara. So, they have given an additional uh, for Padapuraka, one more Devaha has been added for that. Okay, so these three Gurus, these three are Gurus. Okay, smear statement. See, Guru Brahma Asti. Guru Vishnu Asti, Guru Devaha Maheshwara Asti. Cha, you can add if you want to add it. Then the next Pada, he is 
referring to that uh, inanimate uh, uh, supreme god called brahma or the brahman as we do it in english so this one that pratipadika brahma see dirga okay here it is brahma so it's brahman brahma is the prathama ekavachana so param brahma okay and it is uh, i think it is also a neutral gender word okay if i remember recall right okay so guru hu sakshat param brahma okay so verily the ultimate guru is the para brahma like that it is said okay then tasmai shri gurave namaha namaha to a guru who is of all these qualities tasmai to him shri gurave one who is full of knowledge that sense okay namaha mama namaha asmakam namaha so our uh, uh, obeisance to them like that okay or to him who is the manifest of all all such things so guru is brahma vishnu and maheshwara guru is sakshat they could <laughs> is very difficult to translate so literally practically really that sense you can take from sakshat though in literally it means by the eyes okay I, by the inner eyes of course we have to take it brahman himself let us bow down to this great teacher okay Mm. So next one, Agnana Timirandhasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Okay, I'm not great with ragas here. <laughs> Kindly bear with my uh, not so entertaining reading of these verses, but let's get the meaning. Another, another quick reading. Agnyan, Ajnana, or Agnana, like that. Of course, Ga shouldn't really come, but it's okay. Ajnana Timirandhasya, Gnana Anjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. So, it is also Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Literally, the last Pada is the same thing, though it is shown a little differently there by showing an Avasana, which is not shown here, but it's practically the same so this is also a guru namaskara but it is giving the guru's quality in a different way uh, this is uh, nice okay this is very practical agnana timirandhasya okay what uh, asya here means of such a person of such a fellow so it's a shashti vibhakti pratyaya so who is this fellow that is being talked about agnana timira andhasya Andhasya, actually, Timira, Andhasya. So, Andhasya means of the blind fellow. Blind due to what? Due to the Timira or the covering on the eye. Okay. The what operation we do now? Um, cataract. <laughs> so, literally, the cataract cover, uh, you can call it as the Timira uh, aspect here. Okay. So, Agnana Timira. The cataract of lack of knowledge to the eye, to a person who will, who is blind so, to the of the person who is blind so, okay? That sense is there in this, okay? Agnane, agnana iti timirena atva timiraya, I don't know the linga properly, yaha andaha saha agnana timirandaha, one who is blinded by the cataract called avidya or lack of knowledge who is un, un, unawakened so to such a blind fellow of such a blind fellow jnananjana shalakaya okay shalaka in sanskritam means the scalpel okay it can literally mean many things but in this contents context of a timirandha in the context of a cataract ridden blind person shalaka is the scalpel that can remove it Okay, remember always uh, in the old ancient Indian surgery, surgical methods, cataract operations were also well known. Okay, so shalaka also refers to the sharp uh, paper knife they used to insert in books also to cut uh, sheets and patra and all that. Okay, shalaka is used for that. So there is actually a paddhati called shalaka pariksha for pandits where they will take a grantha. For example, somebody is supposed to be a Vyakarana expert. They will take one of the Vyakarana granthas, insert the paper knife, which is usually made of uh, uh, expensive wood like sandalwood, 
and 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 then open that and read off some uh, one word one word of a verse or just the verse number or something and then the she the, the student is supposed to recite it uh, with the meaning explanation everything very tough exam okay so that shalaka pariksha we call it anyway gnananjana shalakaya okay what is anjana anjana is a paste i paste right so the soothing uh, ointment that is used okay so gnananjana shalakaya with the scalpel and the ointment called knowledge <laughs> what a beautiful construction okay knowledge which is the ointment and the scalpel to clear the blindness gnananjana shalakaya with that okay see earlier it was shasti vibhakti possession case of here it is with like the instrument case so shalaka being strilinga so shalakaya is the tritiya vibhakti form okay we call instrument case so chakshuhu unmilitam chakshur unmilitam again visarga repa conversion is there chakshuhu unmilitam the i chakshuhu the i unmilitam which was opened up okay yena by who so ever thus my to that person shri gurave to that grand guru great guru knowledgeable guru namaha i bow down we bow down here since there is no i we we can take singular or plural sense to the whole thing it's like you know impersonal a little bit so agnana timirandasya gnananjana shalakaya chakshuhu unmilitam yena tasmai shri gurave namaha what a beautiful sentence construction see to that person who opened the uh, opened the eye with the uh, with the ointment and the scalpel called knowledge of the eye that was Uh, blinded by the by the cataract called um, dumbness <laughs> whatever you can call it agnana and the eyes were so opened by whom so ever to that person to that great guru i offer my obeisance beautiful agnana timirandhasya gnananjana shalakaya chakshurun melitam yena तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः अस्तु एनी क्वेश्चन एट दिस पॉइंट दिस इज वासुकी हां वी आल्सो चांटेड लाइक चक्षुर मिलितम एन सो इज दैट रॉन्ग चक्षुर उन्मीलितम एज वन वर्ड विद संधि or if you split it see when you split it uh, the sometimes the meter will slip especially if you are carefully going with the drum rhythm it might slip okay normally with our type of uh, recital if we break nothing disaster is going to happen because there is no precise metering we are doing to check whether we are falling within the timing but the actually to meet the metric needs चक्षुरुन्मीलितम येन सर्रु बिकम्स वन मात्रा देयर इनसाइड ओके चक्षुहु उन्मीलितम इफ यू स्प्लिट यू आर एडिंग ए मात्रा ओके सर व्हाट वुड येन मीन येन येन मींस बाय हुसो एवर तेन बाय दैट पर्सन लाइक दैट सो येन इज बाय हुमसो एवर सो यह दैट पर्सन सो जस्ट लाइक वी से सह तौते he he to or he they all there is a yaha yau ye okay which male which two males and which which all males that sense okay okay thank you so and usually come accompanied like this yaha saha which which so person whom whom so ever that person yaha shalam gachati saha ramah the who so ever is going to the school that fellow is rama so who that that's how and that can go in other vibhaktis also so yena tena is the tritiya vibhakti pairing of the same yasaha yena tena by whom so ever by that person that kind of thing you don't have to go yena tena it can be yena saha yena tasmai see here yena tasmai is the pairing by okay. whom so ever to him because mm-hmm. the the action here is namana so to him tasmai like that okay mm-hmm. 
ओके थैंक यू गुड क्वेश्चन ओके आई गेस यू गेस हैव गॉट राइट सो लेट्स मूव पाव in fact see what sanskrit bharati is avoiding at this juncture you will see similar verses are going to be there all the way to kovida but the way they will treat the explanation part of these verses will be very significantly enhanced there so i am i am little bit jumping in breaking down the words talking here and there about things and giving you some vibhakti something because i know all of you are you know Uh, not uh, come here as very young students who won't be able to understand so i'm jumping a little ahead but as far as the current expectation uh, in this level is you get to memorize this verse okay and get a general meaning sense you don't need to literally know all vibhakti and all that anvaya what is kriya pada etc at this level but i am i am talking about them a little bit just to enhance the knowledge otherwise uh, all i need to do is read what is there that's not much useful to you guys okay and of course other than the nice pictures <laughs> okay no sir you are explaining very well and it is helping us thank you thank, thank you bhagini thank you okay uh, i only have about uh, 20 so about 20% attendance 25% attendance sad okay uh, i guess people don't have time for okay Next we have Samskrta Vangmaya Parichaya. Samskrta next section. Samskrta Vangmaya Parichaya. You see how quickly we are racing through the balance portion of the lessons. See the number one segment is going to consume two three slots of our for every uh, in every partha two three sessions may go two sessions at least will go in the grammar part. One session or so we can. course through the remaining generally uh, that is the expectation okay so roughly 3 and 1/2 sessions uh, is probably needed per uh, per lesson okay samskrta vangmaya parichaya so what is this let us break it down samskrta we know the language samskrta vangmaya vangmaya we had talked about this in the first uh, class also vak plus maya vangmaya mayat pratyaya we call it is also everything is not random nothing is random so this maya is there because of a pratyaya called mayat pratyaya which is the pratyaya that gives the quality of pervasiveness to the object okay so vang maya means filled with pervasively filled with sounds so samskrta vang maya that world which is pervasively filled with the sounds of the language of samskritam parichaya a little bit of uh knowledge gathering introduction to that okay so under this heading a brief account of sanskrit literature from vedic to present times is given it's a nice uh, thing okay we are hardly taught all these things even in our sanskrit class sadly uh, because of all this uh, approach that you know it should not contain anything is termed religious very easily in india so the other lessons are all benign like you know Rahim went to Rama and talked about Sita. Something like that. They will create some uh, totally useless uh, context and teach some Sanskrita. So neither is there any taste left in you to learn the uh, the whole thing. So here it there is no shame for us to learn it from the actual historic perspective of whatever uh, religious background under which right, this literature sir, emerged. Cool. Yeah. For example, Sanskrit is a common language for mm. Jains, for Buddhists, and for hindus so mm. we can proudly say it is multi religious language that way certainly so under this heading a brief account of sanskrit literature from vedic to present times is given okay i'll just mute everyone some noise is coming okay it's muted ha huh. vedas or oh, oh, maybe somebody can read to help me let me call upon someone ha huh. mahesh mathevarya mahesh mathevarya yes sir yes ha huh. Uh, if you can slowly read through this for us to teach us thank you yes vedas are four rigved yajurved samaved and atharvanaved in hmm. each veda oh, oh, oh just just pause there see i i just want to utilize it very well read by varya but notice the the regional variations that will happen guys okay for example uh, maheshwarya 
uh, is uh, is from a language background where he always learnt this as ved okay so he sticks to that order of pronunciation that is intimate to him and he identifies with that so that is perfect no problem but in south we will read this as written in english as rigveda obviously sanskritam uses uh, the akaranta ikaranta such things rather than halant generally so rigveda okay is the how the pratipadika has been put in in english here so it's okay to say rigved or rigveda or rigveda no problem okay all three are okay rigveda would be the complete sanskrit name in prathama ekavachana okay if you would just want to stay with the stem in the foreign languages it's okay to say rigved or rigveda okay no problem okay beautiful uh, so he has in shown the name of the four vedas in the more or less the order that we consider them to be of significance so the the base and the oldest is rigveda yajurveda is the next broad and very important one for all the yagna karma so yajju yajur yajur means actually yagna related is there okay sama sama actually means uh, uh a sa song nature okay sama veda song nature veda and atharvana veda the fourth veda so this is um, he the guy with the, this vedic knowledge is the brahma position in the vedic rituals so he is the overseer that the process is happening correctly and yajurvedis conduct the uh, matters and rigvedins and samavedins are participate in the singing okay so this is typically so the four there have to be four uh, all the four vedas people have to combine to carry out a vedic yagna okay all right continue sir in each veda mainly there are four parts they are first samhita second brahman brahmana hmm. third aranyaka and fourth upanishad so the, the this is now a broad division within each one of them so that means when basically remember veda is finally single but for convenience of maintenance and procreation of knowledge because the parampara was vak parampara different schools uh, were uh, created in the early days when these all fantastic uh, things were being done so the uh, each uh, veda is uh, having further components of certain qualities so the component variation is based on the qualities okay so that's what samhita brahmana aranyaka and upanishad so let's see what they say about it if they don't say much we will definitely be able to gather some knowledge about that later continue sir other than this vedas are also divided into karma kanda and dhyana kanda ha ah, so the first classification of any veda is into these segments where different verses of the veda go into each of these segments in a approximate manner due to the content but further there is a grouping actually called karma kanda and dhyana kanda even as the name says karma means action dhyana means knowledge we know that kanda means that segment so the segment related to karma what karma of course in veda and yagna the karma is yaga yaga karma so yaga karma it can be your daily rituals it can be your agni hotra works that you do on a regular basis or it can be an occasional uh, for certain uh, rain uh, you know seeking rain and other things such things okay so karma kanda relates to all the rituals versus related to the rituals performed for the yagnas and yagas and right starting from the simple sandhya vandanam and other things that we do also belong there and then gnana kanda is more about the the deeper sense of uh, why we are what we are and uh, how we can be and how to be how to you know live with uh, knowledge okay not uh, in a very dumb way so that's the gnana kanda typically upanishad is replete with uh, 
so upanishads are identified in jnana kanda whereas the other three are identified in karma kanda though actually you can say samhita brahmana are the more stronger karma kanda and aranyaka is a mixture which does contain teachings related to jnana also okay ha huh. but that's very very loose definition all right continue sir rigveda is the oldest literary treatise in the world mm. it is divided into eight ashtakas and mm. ten mandalas very good rigveda, see each ashtaka just read each ashtaka is groups of eight chapters okay that's why it's called ashtaka so ashtaka means that which contains eight things so eight. ashtaka so groups of eight chapters so eight ashtakas so eight into eight sixty four chapters roughly right that's what we can we have to get so this eight is different from that eight okay don't confuse this eight with the ashta here eight ashtakas so that means it contains eight sets of eight chapter set like that okay continue sir rigveda mainly consists of prayers Huh. Just, just a pause. Just a pause. I am sorry. So I forgot to talk about ten mandalas. So just as there are eight groups of eight ashtakas, the same sixty-four chapters are also spread around in ten mandalas. Okay. So the mandala is another grouping of the same verses. Okay. It's not something else. Huh? Don't confuse that. First there are these sixty-four chapters, which are eight ashtakas, and then there is some ten mandala. No. it is one classification is this and another classification is the mandala classification okay typically when you purchase rigvedic books you will find that typically one mandala in one book is how they are published okay mandala is the publication set continue sir akshayhi ma divyam which which means do not play dice krishim it krishasva which means till the land such sayings of didactic nature are also found in it uh, didactic nature means very very practical for real life uh, following you know almost you can call it as a uh, smriti smriti nature uh, real life necessity rules and uh, orders okay that is also there that is being talked about and here till is not the till that simple till that we understand as until somebody comes not that till till here refers to plowing plowing the land okay krishim it krishasva that means do the plowing action of the bhumi that means don't just focus on doing yagnas etc so have some sense purpose to your progression of your life so don't waste away your time by betting and such uh, ill ill games and also work hard to to do the uh, crop uh, bringing up the crop and such things that is the basis of our life so that's so very interesting that such simple things are also there in that okay continue sir yajur veda has two branches hello mahesh ji i think uh, we lost him mahesh ji are you there okay so i think we lost his voice due to some reason uh, vishnu priya ghoshal mm -hmm. you are unmuted you can mm -hmm. take it up take it up from that paragraph yes mm -hmm. uh yajur veda has two branches namely shukla yajur veda and krishna yajur veda mm. so shukla means white and krishna means dark okay dark. so white and dark yajurvedas okay hmm. it contains mantras that are used in used in sacrificial uh, rites ha huh. see don't uh, read this sacrifice as the ghastly uh, reading of sacrifice uh, sacrificial rituals that is painted in the english world okay so here we mean the homa yagna homas okay yagna okay uh, yeah, yeah continue begini taitri taitriya upanishad belonging to krishna yajurveda ah uh, mahesh ji unfortunately yeah. we lost your voice so i have asked begini to continue huh? thank you for sure, your sure. good no readings thank you 
उपनिषद बिलोंगिंग टू कृष्ण यजुर्वेदा कंटेन सच वेल नोन टीचिंग एज सत्यम वद धर्म चर स्पीक द ट्रूथ परफॉर्म द रिलीजियस ड्यूटी so they have given a very simple uh, sample of one important upanishad called taitriya upanishad so there are hundreds of upanishads okay and uh, each shakha sab shakha sometimes have some upanishadic teachings in them okay so one important upanishad is the taitriya or titiri one rushi called titiri and the upanishad of him is called taitriya upanishad the upanishad of the rishi called titiri is taittariya upanishad mm -hmm. okay and titiri may be a name given after uh, a bird perhaps okay so anyway uh, very interesting names are there for these rishis so belonging to krishna ayurveda so it is of that shaka hmm? uh, uh, it contains such well known teachings as satyam vada dharmam chara which is pretty much you know uh, sometimes the national uh, at least for uh, for display organizations put this beautiful quotes in their logos <laughs> and follow none of it <laughs> so, it they are telling us but not doing anything else. anyway yeah. satyam vada yeah. any university you will find beautiful vedic quotes and it stops there <laughs> okay the samveda is samveda is the way the abounding in songs Mm. in it rigvedic mantras are found some Haan. mantras are original to it also to it also so actually samaveda largely is a recodification of the rig mantras rigveda rig actually rig rig becomes rig in sandhi okay so the individual mantras are called rigs or rigs depending on how you want to pronounce it uh, so the the rig mantras are recorded in samaveda in different shakas they are sung in different ways uh, you can call it the origins of uh, sangeeta uh, in the samaveda so sir uh, is it like uh, richas richa and rig mane is it masculine feminine rig and richa i am not sure about richa okay, okay how it is derived but rig means a rigvedic mantra is called a rig okay rishi rishi kritam rik iti praya okay the verse that is created by the rishis who saw the knowledge directly mm -hmm. that's called a rik okay okay some vedic mantras of great value satyam dharma shaitani ma maha maha sishu may mm -hmm. not truth and dharma leave me i will just reread that satyam dharma shaitani मा महाशिशु द वेदि ग्रामर इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम लौकि ग्रामर ओके सो हियर देर आर सम मोर लिबर्टी टेकन एंड समथिंग हेव देर ओन ऋषि ऋषि बेस्ड लास् ऑफ ग्रामर पाणिनी ट्राइज टू कवर दम बट नार्मली वेन वी स्टडी द संस्कृत ग्रामर वी स्टिक टू द लौकि ग्रामर दैट वी कैन यूज फॉर रीडिंग थिंग्स लाइक महाभारत रामायण एक्सेट्रा so the vedic grammar is is having its own variation but mm -hmm. anyway satyam dharmascha etani so satyam the truth dharma cha so the uh, dharma and the truth satya cha uh, both of them etani see suddenly this is napumsakalinga and bahuvachana so only two items are there satyam and dharma okay all right he took the linga of satyam he should have call it etau a r e t right satyam dharma chaite it should have been according to panini's thing okay because there are only two items being talked about but bahuvachana has been taken etani this kind of liberties are seen okay uh, ma mahasishuhu so maybe mahasishuhu means they they um, leave or something like that so ma mahasishuhu is a nirbandha may not leave like that ma is like a nirbandha vachaka okay Mm. Ma means no, isn't it? Uh, may may they not? It's may like not. Uh, agnya or a prarthana for something not happening. Different yes. from different from na. Na is like a negation, but ma okay. is like a prayer for negation. Okay. Something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Huh. okay. Continue, Pagini. Mm. Ma gridha kasya svi svidhanam. 
ಟ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್
that uh, entire thing is composed in jyotisha so all the calendar keeping etc belong there then kalpa okay sacrificial lore so this one is more related to uh, uh, the actual yagnas and things like that okay so it is kalpa shastra okay so they they the they, they, there are texts shastra texts called vedanga six of them like this shiksha vyakarana which are both grammar chandas which is related to prose and and uh, verses nirukta related to origin of uh, certain words and then jyotisha which is related to planetary motion this was very important in veda vedic science because for them time keeping was very critical those uh, rituals had to be done accurately on particular days and times so this was a very important anga to support the vedic rituals everything was to support the vedic rituals for the pronunciation to be perfect uh, diction to be perfect phonetics for the language to be perfect grammar for the singing to be perfect prosody for the understanding of the meanings etymology for keeping time record of such things jyotisha and uh, auxiliary support for the process of yagna kalpa so clearly all to support the yagna kriya okay but they have so many other scientific applications for us in real life okay so uh, last sentence bagini there are nine shiksha and eight vyakaran treatises ah so now whereas the heading called shiksha for phonetics is available it's not like there is one shiksha grantha there are nine shiksha granthas eight vyakarana granthas etc but what today we largely uh, are are still students are still uh, studying very well the largely are shiksha of panini and vyakarana of panini so panini and vyakarana and panini and shiksha are the dominant Uh, branches of study in uh, uh, the semi modern universities of india hmm? <coughs> some gurukulas also of course guru some gurukulas uh, belonging to other shakas do maintain other uh, vyakaranas no problem they do study in to some extent and each shakha of the veda has its own vyakarana uh, subtext uh, to attach to the panini for going into things that they use okay all right so so what we see here we see a vedic tree somebody some artist has done a brilliant job so i thought i'll show that there should be easily able to find this on internet so he shows the vedic tree as a that sala vriksha which drops the roots i think uh, and then he shows the different clusters of the branches as different vedas rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharva veda talks a little bit about uh, the different types of uh, Uh, samhita subsections and upanishadic texts that may be there are branch names for example he let us see samaveda samhita is having three shakas kauthuma shaka rana ranayani shaka uh, ranayani shaka and jaimini shaka i think ni okay that's okay so these are the three presently traceable shakas hundreds have been lost okay similarly different shakas for different it's been given interesting mm what are we having pictures about indra uh, is the guy in the middle on the on the airavata on the left is agni you can call him surya or agni so agni devata indra varuna these are all the important gods in vedic rituals okay there is no vishnu brahma or the chaturmukha brahma vishnu and maheshwara they don't have any uh, particular uh, significance in in the in the vedic forms okay so those come more from our puranas and smritis etc so the vedic uh, gods are more or less the nature gods okay so agni uh, indra who is supposed to be the god of all the weathers and then varuna the rain god and the water god so these kind of things and of course vyasa is there in the picture thank you bagini for reading through that very helpful of you welcome so sir. so at this point i think it is a good time to take a short break before we jump into the katha okay and then go into the katha now i see two hands up i have i wonder if there are any questions uh, sh- uh, sh- sh- yeah ah shrimanti varie please uh, ask your question 
I just remember that uh, ma, you said nirbandha vachaka. Mm. Ma, like we have ma faleshu kadachana. Mm, mm, that mm, can correct. be an example. Yes, yes, very much. Mm. Ma uh, bhavataha astam ma stapayatu phaleshu. Don't establish, don't, don't sense, don't establish, directive negation. Don't mm. establish your uh, focus on the fruits like that. Yes. Dhanabad. Very good. And uh, Tripti Varye, you have a question? Uh, it is not uh, related to what we just read. I, it, just a thought came to our mind. Like mm. what we say is Vedanta is something different to what these Vedas are. So same, same. same. Vedanta, Vedanta is the Upanishadic texts are collectively called Vedanta. Upanishadic oh. texts of all the Vedas. Okay. The significant okay. Upanishads of all the Vedas collectively are referred to the referred with the word vedanta but vedanta also includes in the practical world it includes brahma sutra one of the sutra granthas and includes uh, uh, bhagavad gita which is part of uh, mahabharata okay so bhagavad okay. gita which has been you know uh, taken uh, uh, from mahabharata and brahma sutra uh, both are included under vedanta Okay, in addition to the Upanishads. Okay, all the four Vedas plus the two Brahma Sutras and the Bhagavad Gita. Upanishads from all the Vedas. Okay, now remember also okay. there are tons of Upanishads. The significant ones are about uh, 10 to 12. Okay, uh, Dasha Upanishad is one terminology used a lot within Sanskritam world. So Dasha Maha Upanishad, something like that they use. But there are actually hundreds. Some are very small, yeah. some are huge. <laughs> okay. Huh, okay. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let us take a break. I think I have answered the questions. So three minutes. So just before 12 o'clock or just bang at noon, we will restart by reading the Katha segment. Okay. Thank you. Just stand by and I'll be back.
Okay, welcome back. So, Katha. So, earlier I may have, uh, during introduction, mistakenly said that there will be one Katha in five lessons and another in another in the remaining five lessons like that. That style is there more, more in the higher levels. You will see that they will pick up some summary of Ramayana and teach that over five Katha segments like that or one incident of Ramayana or Mahabharata and teach that. But here at the Pravesha level, they have kept it pretty simple because we won't be able to take very deep uh, meaning stuff. So they have kept it to short stories. Each is an independent short story. Very put in as simple Sanskritam as possible for us to understand. Without trying to overanalyze the grammar, we try to start picking up the sounds of sentences and paragraphs and, and things like that. Okay. So it's very nice way to learn. So katha, katha means a story. It's a fem feminine word. That's why it has akaranta sense. Katha. Okay. Buddhiman shishyaha. Okay, now we will uh, we will make someone practice the reading. Let me call upon someone. We have uh, ta Tashi Arya, Tashi or Tashi. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing right. Tashi Varye or Varya. Can you unmute yourself? Tashi. Okay. Pavan Kumar Varya. Pavan Kumar Varya, you have unmuted. Can you help us by reading? Yes, sir. Yeah. Please, please kindly start off, sir. And what okay. my request is, as you read now, after uh, every uh, sentence, it will be nice if you pause and I give yes. the explanation yes, and we proceed that. Continue, sure. Kashi Nagare, Ekaha Panditaha Vasati. Mm. Buddhiman Shishyaha, smart Buddhiman student. Shishyaha. Okay, Buddhiman, Man, Van. This kind of pratyaya is a fellow of the tree nature like that. OK, it's called man one. Uh, it's a type of technique to uh, make personify the uh, the thing, the quality into somebody. So buddhi man is the one with buddhi, one with the smarts. OK, shishyaha, such a student. So that's what is the title of the katha. Huh? So we kind of get a clue there. Kashi Nagare, in the Kashi Nagar, in the, in the town of Kashi, Varanasi, what we call today, in the town of Kashi, Ekaha, one, Panditaha, a fellow who was a Pandit, who was a um, knowledgeable guy, in the original definition. Vasati, he, he stays, okay, he leaves. Vasam Karoti, Vasati. So Ekaha is pulling a form of one. Ekaha Panditaha. So if it was a three, for example, Mahila or something like that, Eka Mahila, we will say. Okay. Ekaha Panditaha. Ekam Pushpam. Ekam Phalam. So that is how Eka varies in Linga. We'll study all that slowly, but I'm just using that uh, every occasion to learn. And here, for example, Kashi Nagare is in what we call as Saptami Vibhakti. In the Kashi Nagar, locative. Okay. So what, sorry, what we call as Adhikarana Karaka in Samskritam or location Karaka in Samskritam. So it is declined in the seventh case to mean that this entire whatever action is being talked about is happening in this place called Kashi Nagar. Then Ekaha Panditaha. Now Panditaha is actually the uh, subject noun here, the Karta, the one who is doing the action. But what kind of Pandita? He is Ekaha Pandita. He is little bit of uh, reference to uh, Ekaha here is about some Pandit, not that we are already familiar, one Pandit, one is used in that sense in English also, no? somebody like that. So that way Ekaha is a qualifier to Pandita. Okay, it doesn't mean anything unique, it just means one of many Pandits. Okay, leaves, okay, present tense, Vasati, present tense, he leaves in Kashi Nagar. So this story is being told in present tense to help us. Okay. Ha. Continue, sir. Pandita Samipam Ekaha Sishaha Agachati. Ha. Pandita Samipam. So here again they have used one what we call Samastapada technique. Okay. So there are two halves we know. Pandita is one half and Samipa is another half we know. But they have been combined. 
So Pandita Samipa has been made into a new combined word. You cannot just split it like that and put space because Pandita space is illegal. Pandita is just the Pratipadika. It is not a word. It is just the stem for the word. So you cannot throw the stem alone in a sentence. Okay, you have to go with the Vibhakti. So this kind of uh, combination is called Samastapada. Okay, where the stem of the first has been attached to the stem of the second to produce a new stem called Pandita Samipa. What is Pandita Samipa? The nearness area of the Pandit. Panditasya Samipam. Pandita Samipam. Okay, so that's how it is uh, broken up. So the Shashti Vibhakti is taken out in the samasta we know but we know to reconstruct by reading it that way okay uh, mama samipam pandita sam mama samipam already is in shashti okay so um, uh, there i have not done the samasa here panditasya samipam so pandita samipam has been done okay samasta pada you cannot split it you have can at best hyphen it at best for ease of reading uh, not really encouraged a lot but for our own use, we can hyphenate there. Pandita hyphen samipam, so that it's we know that there are two two parts there. Ekaha shishya, similar to ekaha pandita, one student. Okay, agachati, so he comes. Gachati goes, agachati comes. Okay, continue. Shishya vadati, acharya, vidya bhyasartham, aham agataha. Mm, well read, Mahor. Mahodaya is using Kaku very well. I appreciate that. Shishya Vadati. The, the, the student says, okay, what he says is in quotes. Acharya apostrophe. What is this? This is Sambodhana Pratama Vibhakti. He Acharya. He is not put, but it is implicit in the fact that this is Sambodhana. Uh, sir, he sir, like that. Okay. Um, vidyabhyasa artham, another samastapada, vidyabhyasa artham, okay, artham here is in the sense of for the purpose of, for the purpose of, so vidyabhyasa artham means for the purpose of vidyabhyasa, vidyabhyasa is also having two elements, vidya and abhyasa, abhyasa means repeated practice, vidya means knowledge, Okay, so for repeated practice of knowledge, for that purpose, aham, me, I, agataha, have become a fellow who have come. I have given a very long explanation for agataha. This agataha is not a kriya pada, it is a kriya vachaka. Okay, so it is associated with the shishya. Shishya agataha, aham agataha, I am a fellow who have come. I am a fellow who have come is embedded in Agatha. So uh, it's called Kta Kridanta. You will study this over the four levels. You will learn all this brilliant technique. How we can take a dhatu and take it into a Kriya Vachaka and associate with a person. So here Agatha is associated with Aham. And because he is masculine, he is using Agatha. If it was a three, she would have said Aham Agatha. Like that. I, have, I am the lady who have come. So, like, okay. Continue, sir. Panditaha Sitya Buddhi Parichartham Prachati. But, sir, Deva Kutrasti. Very nice, Mahodya. Panditaha, our guru, Shishya Buddhi Parichartham, another Samastapada. Very easy to break down. Shishya hyphen Buddhi hyphen Pariksha hyphen Artha. Okay, roughly. Again, artham is in the same sense of the artham we saw earlier for the purpose of. Okay, pariksha, examination, buddhi, the smarts, shishya, of the shishya. Very implicit that it is buddhi of the shishya. So, shishyasya, buddhehe, parikshana, parikshanaya, pariksha artham, in another way of saying. So, shishyasya, buddhehe, parikshanaya, or pariksha artham. So, for the purpose of testing the buddhi of the shishya. Okay. Of the buddhi of the shishya. So, buddhehe is shashti related to pariksha. Shishyasya is shashti related to buddhi. Shishyasya buddhi. Shishyasya buddhehe pariksha. Okay. Pariksha of the buddhi of the shishya. So, two offs are stacked as samasta here. So, we call it shashti tatpurusha samasas. Shashti tatpurusha one, shashti tatpurusha two. Okay. 
ಪೃಚ್ಛತಿ ಪೃಚ್ಛತಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಸತಿ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಗಚ್ಚತಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಪೃಚ್ಛತಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವತ್ಸ ಹೇ ವತ್ಸ ಓಕೆ ಅನ್ ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ನ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಡಿಯರಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ದ ಗುರು ಸೇಸ್ ಹೇ ವತ್ಸ ಹೇ ಸನ್ ದೇವ ಕುತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಗಾಡ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಓಕೆ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಸ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ವದತಿ ಗುರು ದೇವ ಕುತ್ರ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಕೃಪೆಯ ಭವಾನ್ ಏವ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ವದತು ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೆಲ ಸೊ ಗುರೋ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಫಾರ್ ಗುರು ಶಬ್ದ ಓಕೆ ಹೇ ಗುರೋ ಓಕೆ ಗುರು ಗುರು ಗುರವ ಹೇ ಗುರೋ ಹೇ ಗುರು ಹೇ ಗುರವ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಏಕವಚನ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ವೇರೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಅಂಡ್ ತೃ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಹುವಚನ ಸಾರಿ ದ್ವಿವಚನ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಹುವಚನ ವಿಲ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಗುರು ಗುರು ಗುರವ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಗುರು ಟೂ ಗುರುಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೇ ಗುರೋ ಹೇ ಯು ಒನ್ ಗುರು ಹೇ ಗುರ ಹೇ ಗುರು ಹೇ ಗುರು ಹೇ ಯು ಟು ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೇ ಗುರವ ಹೇ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸಾರಿ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ವಿವಚನ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ಬಹುವಚನ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ದೇವ ಕುತ್ರ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಗಾಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೀ ನಾಟ್ ನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೃಪಯಾ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಏವ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಏವ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದ ವದತು ಯು ಟೆಲ್ please you tell where he is not you ask me where he is where he is not there you tell where he is uh, not <laughs> something like that <laughs> not there and then i would want to know where he is not there that kind of thing continue sir santushtah guru vadati devah sarvatra asti let's Deva. pause there let's pause there yes, so santushtah guru so now what has happened here guru who is there very much the karta of the action of uh, telling vadati guru who vadati kidrushah guru who what type of guru santushtah guru who the pleased guru so santushtah is what we call visheshana it is a visheshana or an adjective to the guru so okay it's an adjective to guru so that is because it's an adjective to guru it is in the same vibhakti and vachana as guru santushtah guru simply if i say santushtah is one happy fella but the one happy fella who the guru that's how we got to literally translate the one happy fellow the guru he says okay devah sarvatra asti the god is everywhere so what are we learn kutra where kutra visarlier okay so sarvatra everywhere okay later you will see few other forms we will come to them when when we, when we cross them so god is there everywhere continues hmm. devah sarvavyapi hmm. this is another qualifier to deva so the god he is a sarvavyapi vyapaka vyapa it means extent extent or the spread of some object okay the area which it occupies vyapi sarva vyapi means it is extant in everywhere everywhere and in everything okay sarva vyapi another way of saying sarvatra asti only nothing new there but it is uh, embedded everywhere like that okay ha huh. continue tum buddhiman you are a smart fellow buddhiman hmm. see we earlier also we say buddhiman chishya so tum buddhiman you are a smart fella hmm. ata ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಾರ್ಥಂ ಅತ್ರ ಬಸ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಅತಃ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ರೀಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅತಃ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ರೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅತಃ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಾರಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಾಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಾರ್ಥಂ ಓಕೆ ಧ್ಯಾಥಂ ಓಕೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಾರ್ಥಂ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅತ್
atra eva atra eva that is called vriddhi sandhi we are going to study them in the next level but know that at, i wish they had split and given atra eva vasa here only you leave eva is like only that's why we when we in indian english when we use words we say only only no a lot and then uh, the western guys uh, what is this only business that is very specific to our eva technology is there in all mother tongue our mother tongues huh? um avane alle in kannada also it is there as a drag atra eva vasa here only you live so kutra where sarvatra everywhere atra here atra here tatra over there tatra is not there in this lesson but we can extend so kutra where tatra over there atra over here sarvatra everywhere okay few more extensions are there but it's enough to know this much vasa what is different in vas between vasa and vasati vasa is directive okay tvam vasa you stay here so tvam is implicit in vasa it's not there in this sentence but you can borrow forward from tvam of the previous sentence tvam vasa you stay atra vasa you stay here atra eva vasa you stay here only for what reason vidyabhyasartham ataha therefore because tvam buddhiman ataha you are smart so you stay here okay this kind of things very well read mohodaya thank you very thank much ha huh. uh, what we will do we will choose another student uh, in the beginning i want to go a little slow well read pavan kumar where you can mute yourself uh, let us try if tasha arya can unmute she seems to be or he seems to be very shy person ah there you go unmuted good afternoon good afternoon varie so tasha tasha varie okay so please uh, quickly slowly but uh, without any stopping for meaning read through this uh, this katha bagini right from katha okay, okay. katha buddhiman shishyah kashi nagare ekah panditah vasati pandit samipam Mm-hmm. Stop, 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 there, stop, there, stop, there, stop, 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 stop. I just want to correct your diction. That's why I'm so Pandit Samipam. You read. I understand. Uh, Tashi comes from uh, North Belt, so automatic Halant she is doing. Okay. Every Pratipadika there is a tendency. For example, Hindi to do Pandit Samipam. Okay. Because that is how from childhood Tashi has read this script. you can't really it's very difficult for her to get rid of uh, that automatic uh, deletion of the akara there but in sanskritam we don't delete anything okay there is no implicit deletions the language is pronounced exactly as it is written so because this is a full takara with the a uh, you cannot kill the akara so you have to read that as pandita samipam it is a new habit tashi you have to develop okay continue okay. now reread that sentence yeah pandita samipam ekah shishyah agachati well done shishyah vadati acharya vidya abhyasartham aham agatah panditah shishya buddhi parikshartah parikshartham pichati vats vats devah kutra asti good गुड गुड कंटिन्यू शिष्यः वदति गुरो देवः कुत्र नास्ति कृपया भवान् एव समाधानं वदतु संतुष्टः गुरुः वदति देवः गुरुः गुरुः ओके गुरुः वदति देवः सर्वत्र अस्ति देवः सर्वव्यापी त्वं बुद्धिमान् अतः विद्याभ्यास 
be, be we what to call uh, generous with the swaras <laughs> wherever you see them huh? it is a new yeah. habit when when you know your brain has to read the same script but in sanskritam mode you have to go that way we south people are lucky in the sense we don't do auto halant in our mother tongue so if i am reading sanskritam in kannada script also i can read the same way i read kannada because there is no automatic killing of anything when we read kannada script so same way i can read sanskritam though it will become little tougher because many of the letters that we not normally use in kannada will appear in sanskritam this nasika sounds of the kavarga <laughs> pavarga and all can be challenging but uh, we can read them and it is a difficulty for your belt i understand because you have read hindi largely in this script and tendency is to read it like hindi but immediately you know oh i am reading sanskritam i should put on the sanskritam way of reading this okay that's the important okay. thing ha huh. thank you most welcome so that was a good so that's why i am going to choose a different of you so that some diction practice also happens that's where the whole interactive exercise is uh, the profit of attending these classes so let us now look at uh, what are the questions asked by them related to this uh, simple katha so there are few questions they have asked so panditah kutra vasati rupa jadav rupa jadav can you unmute yourself uh, yes ah, bagini so panditah kutra vasati pandit where does he live can you answer it from the story ha uh, kashi nagare uh, vasati you have to say full sentence bagini pandit पंडित काशी नगरे वसती वेरी गुड पंडित काशी नगरे वसती वी शुड नॉट ब्रिंग एक हियर ओके बिकॉज ऑलरेडी द क्वेश्चन इज स्पेसिफिक टू इट डजेंट रिक्वायर दिस एक आइडेंटिफिकेशन वेन वी स्टार्टेड द स्टोरी इट वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस टू से एक एक मीन्स वन पंडित वन स्टूडेंट लाइक दैट ओके हियर देर इज नो नीड वी नो इट इज दैट पंडित एंड दैट स्टूडेंट ओके सो पंडित कुत्र वसति सो नाउ ही हैज बिकम अस्माकं पंडितः आवर पंडित ओके नॉट सम पंडित कुत्र वसति सो पंडितः काशी नगरे वसति सो इट कम्स फ्रॉम दैट फर्स्ट सेंटेंस ओवर देयर काशी नगरे इज व्हाट वी फिल इन फॉर कुत्र सी कुत्र इज अ सप्तमी क्वेश्चन अधिकरण क्वेश्चन अधिकरण आंसर काशी नगरे बेंगलुरु नगरे लाइक दिस ओके आई एम i am saying bengaluru nagara only because i am residing i don't know if we have any pandit <laughs> really yeah we i think we have as many pandits as any city in, in india so we'll take it and here i don't mean our uh, uh, our poor brethren who are you know who are spread all over the world pandits from kashmir uh, i just mean pandit here means just any knowledgeable person okay ha huh. um thanks bagini uh vasuki sundaram varya vasuki sundaram varya can you unmute yourself yes oh, oh sorry i think uh, uh, madam i think uh, yeah so panditah kimartam prashnam pruchyati panditah shishya buddhi pariksha artha prachati prashnam pruchyati say say again the sentence slowly panditah शिष्य बुद्धि परीक्षार्थम प्रचति प्रश्न पृच्छति प्रश्न पृच्छति देयर प्रश्न इज नॉट गिवन बिकॉज़ इट इज देयर इन द डायरेक्ट कोड हियर प्रश्न हैज बीन ब्रॉट इन द रेफरेंस व्हाट ही आस्क्स प्रश्न पृच्छन्ति कर्म ओके प्रश्न पृच्छन्ति द द द क्वेश्चन ही आस्क्स ओके गुड वेल करेक्ट आंसर पंडितः शिष्य बुद्धि परीक्षार्थम प्रश्न पृच्छति ओके डोंट स्किप द प्रश्न ओके हां Uh, so like i told earlier shishya buddhi parikshartam is shishyasya buddhehe he parikshartam or parikshanaya so parikshanaya is the vibhakti technique parikshartam is the artham technique for the purpose of the same sense is conveyed by the vibhakti okay so this is called chaturthi vibhakti Mm. slowly we will learn all that don't worry thanks bagini uh, well read uh, bagini it shows it shows as vasuki i guess you have logged in uh, with another account no no my uh, in tamil it is vasuki is tiruvalluvar's wife oh so i come from tamil nadu oh so this is a new new vasuki th- thanks vasuki is tiruvalluvar's wife is known oh. as vasuki oh tiruvalluvar fantastic 
Thiruvalluvar is a great, uh, you know, sage who has uh, uh, coded a lot of uh, wisdom in his... Uh, Thirukkural. Thirukkural. It's, I heard it's in uh, certain major chapters, right? Yes, sir. Uh, it's maybe. almost like, uh, like if you wish to have a comparison that Killa, but Thirukkural is much bigger, but Khalil Gibran's, you know, the way they say, he speaks about every chapter. Every aspect, the oh, oh, okay. okay. Every aspect of a life. Aspect of life. Okay. It's a Smriti Granta, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Thiruvalluvar's uh, uh, Thirukkural Smriti. Very nice. Thanks, Bhagini. So, Srimati Vasuki, she created the correct answer. Let's see who else can help us now. Um, we have Vishnu Priya Varie. Vishnu Priya? Uh, ji, sir. Ha. Huh. Santushtaha Guruhu Ante Kim Vadati Santushtaha Guruhu Vadati Deva Sarvatra Sti Deva Sarva Vyapi Vam Buddhiman. No, so self egg sentence bowling. Egg sentence, egg sentence bowl as a bit tikoga. Subbi bowls a pair like in Jesapne Ante Kim Vadati. Vidya Bhyasartam Atreva Vasa. You can hmm. add Shishyam Vadati. You can add Shishyam, shishyam Vadati. So Santushtaha Guru Ante Shishyam Vidya Bhyasartam Atreva Vasa in quotes. Iti Vadati. Like that you can go. Okay, let me see how I have. Vadati Matlab Hua ki Shishya ko bolte hai. Ah, Shishya ko bolte hai. Correct. Bhagini, you are using Hindi very nicely. I thought uh, you are you are you are yes, from I, Tamil Nadu. Uh, no, no, I am from UP. I am a Bengali, but oh, from UP. Very, very nice to know. Vishnu Priya is used as a name, popular name there also. Normally, mm -hmm. all Vishnu Priyas that I have come across are all Tamilians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very Thank interesting. You, nice Thank name. You. Thanks, Bhagini. So no, sir. We I am also Bengali. I am Shimonti. Uh, we have, we do have Vishnu Priya. Vishnu Priya, yes. very nice. Name. Yes. Thanks, thanks, Bhagini. Very nice. Huh. So, Santushtaha Guru, who as a subject, and then in quotes, you have to go what he says, and then say Iti. This is the standard technique for putting quotes. Okay. Uh, there, it is not there as Iti because with hyphen, they have killed the Iti. Santushtaha Guru, who Vadati, hyphen, then the quote has been put. That is one technique. This is actually not the Sanskrit technique. If you see Sanskrit technique is not to use, there is no double quote in Sanskrit language. Okay. Double quote is a borrowal that we have done from whatever we know from alphabets of uh, the English uh, world. But that's okay. It is very useful. So we use it. Anything good we should use. So double quote is used. But then the Sanskrit technique for showing a quotation is to say iti. So from this vasa, we know there is one sentence, uh, one or two sentences there. And then this iti concludes that as a vadati's quote, okay, tells so. So, so he says, so the happy teacher, blah, 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 blah. So he says, that is how it goes in Sanskrit. Okay, this blah, 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 blah is whatever he said inside. It has two sentences. Just like Bhagini asked, no? Bhagini said, hey, do I need to say everything? Is it okay to just go a little compact? Perfectly fine. Here I have chosen a Vaya Media. There is no need to use Sarvatrasti and Sarvavyapi. Tvam Buddhiman is kind of uh, implicit from Vidya Buddhiman Tvam. I attached it as a qualifier mm -hmm. here, you see. So mm -hmm. very nice techniques are possible. Devaha Sarvavyapi, enough to cover the Deva aspect. Buddhiman Tvam, the smart fellow that you are, you, Atra Eva, here only, Vidya Vyasartam Vasa. With, with, a, with a apostrophe to show the Vasa is in the Lot Lakara in the in the Agnyartha Prarthanartha version, not a, like a simple Vartamana. So Iti Vadati. So he so Guru. So what is the base sentence? Guru hu Vadati. Guru hu Kim Vadati. Blah blah blah. Iti Vadati. Kidrishaha Guru hu Santushtaha Guru hu. This whatever I am doing now is how we extract the parts of a sentence. Okay, asking different different questions. Okay. That you will also learn as you do the pravesha pariche etc. You will learn that technique. It's a brilliant technique. It's called uh, akangsha paddhati of understanding a sentence. So that was a very good exercise with the kata. Okay. Uh, let us quickly do the samskrita vyavahara because.
because we have a few minutes left uh, before we call it uh, a morning today and gather at three o'clock again. Let me just quickly read through the base things that are here. Okay, Samskrita Vyavahara, seventh section for us. In uh, Vyavahara means uh, the rituals of every day. That means whatever uh, Vyapara, Vyavahara, this means the activities. Uh, so here Vyavahara, he is talking to pieces of language, uh, spoken language that we use when we talk to others. Okay, pieces of phrases. Okay, sometimes one word, sometimes couple of words. It's very useful. In this lesson, words or sentences that are used in day-to-day -day conversation are given in Sanskritam. So Vyavahara is taken as day-to-day -day conversation. It can be taken as any number of meanings can be extended from that. Use these sentences at home with your friends and colleagues. Make it a practice to use Sanskrit sentences. Okay, you can make Sanskrit a very conversational language through practice. Okay, so they're giving us some sub technique. One or uh, one way to say hello could be Hari Om or Hari Hi Om. You can make it Hari Om as one or Hari Om like that. Okay, so that is a substitute for possibly using uh, instead of using hello harihi om uh, so then namaste namaskaraha so namaste namaste is a compound namaha te te is to you okay namaha to you i offer my obeisance namaha te namaste in sandhi namaskaraha the sounds of namana to you also in play implicitly to you or to you all is there subject is not mentioned te subject is mentioned suprabatham good morning su is a prefix of good goodness okay su sukrutam uh, sugamam sugamam means the movement is good sukrutam means something that is then well these kind of su's are there many many uh, dhatus can be extended with a good uh, goodness nature using the su but here suprabhatam prabhata means the beginning of the day early uh, morning okay bha is uh, light of the sun uh, light of anything nature is called bha okay prabhatam is the morning is a construction with that early light suprabhatam good morning okay ha huh. Shubha Madhyaknaha. Madhyaknaha or Madhyanaha. Both are okay. Some people pronounce the Hakara first and then the Nakara. Some people attack the Nakara first and then pronounce the Hakara. Both are okay. Shubha Madhyanaha. Shubha Madhyaknaha. Okay. Because it is written the way it is, Aknaha is the natural first pronunciation. The deviant pronunciation will become an Anaha. Okay. So, for example, in South, we don't even use the Hakara. We say Madhyana. We kill the Hakara and say Madhyana. So, that is a, what we call Tadbhava. So, we take Sanskrit words and maul it and make it our own. <laughs> it happens in all Indian languages. We don't pronounce it as in Sanskritam, but we kind of more or less know to identify the Sanskrit word from which it came. Okay. Madhya means middle. Aknaha means of the day. Okay. So, Madhyan, Madhyaknaha is middle of the day. So afternoon. Shubha Madhyanha means may it be a good afternoon. So good afternoon. Shubha we know very much. Hmm? Hmm. Shubha Sandhya. Sandhya. Huh? So it is a feminine Akaranta Pada. Sandhya. So Shubha Sandhya. Good evening. Why Sandhya? Sandhi. We know Sandhi means joining, right? Sandhi means meeting of two things. So there are two Sandhya Kalas in a day. One is the early morning when sun rises. Another is the Sandhya Kala when the sun sets. But we just when we say Sandhya, it typically refers to the evening Sandhya. Okay. Because if it is morning Sandhya, it is called Pratah Sandhya. Pratah Sandhya. Okay. Pratah Sandhya. And normal Sandhya is Sandhya only. Evening Sandhya. Shubha Sandhya. Good evening. Shubha Ratrihi, good night. So, Shubha Suprabhatam, okay. Uh, Atva, you can make it Shubha Prataha, also can be done. Shubha Prataha, it's not a popular rudi way of saying. Suprabhatam is very, very popular rudi way of saying. Shubha Madhyanha, Shubha Sandhya, Shubha Ratrihi. So, different times of the day. Dhanyavadaha, okay. Thank you. 
dhanya means uh, uh, gratitude vadaha means a pledge of gratitude how beautiful the word is pledges of gratitude thanks <laughs> so, thanks doesn't have a particular genesis that at least i know of but dhanya vadaha is very clearly analyzable okay vadati vadaha so it comes from vad to tell and vadaha is that which is told pledge and dhanya is uh, 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 gratitude dhanya vadaha swagatam okay ag gam gam datu is there you see gatam agatam agatam swagatam okay so welcome okay arrival agatam arrival swagatam su agatam swagatam there is a sandhi with su earlier we saw su so su agatam swagatam su means good arrival so swagatam is good arrival how brilliant any language can you find like this good arrival to you welcome <laughs> same in here we can find the genesis you see well means good come means come so welcome is identical in engineering to swagatam okay mm. manye arye okay madam this is sambodhana hey manye hey arye arya manya in pullinga and manye arye in strilinga ekaranta so this is like site ram he rame he site like that he arye he manye sambodhana prathama is ekaranta for akaranta strilingas sambodhana prathama has ekaranta then shriman see shriman nahi shriman this is sambodhana again so this is he sir okay shriman he shriman so when we address someone we can say he arya he manya he shriman both all three are okay okay here it will be shrimate something like that okay as far as i recall mati shabd i have to check anyway astu all right okay may it be so actually astu is asdhatu uh, uh, lotlakara version in prathama vibhakti so may it be so like that astu okay that is giving the sense of okay all right okay actually literally it means may it be so okay kripaya with kripa so this ya is with sense okay uh, karana karaka with kripa so with kindness kripaya agachatu please come with kindness you come like that okay so it's uh, it's a piece of a word in a vibhakti so you cannot just uh, uh, like in english you go please like that you can go kripaya like that but it literally goes with the implicit agachatu something like that okay kripaya karotu kripaya gachatu kripaya agachatu whatever the action is implied in the context of what we are saying maybe so chinta mastu mastu is again nishedanartak nishedartaka ma astu astu visa already already astu may it be so ma astu may it not be so okay nishedhartaka uh, lot directive as may it not be so chinta mastu may what not be so may worry not be so how beautiful so don't worry okay <laughs> kshamyatam ksham uh, kshama uh, yache te kshamyatam please uh, excuse me okay mam kshamyatam excuse me mam is not needed because kshamyatam as a kriya vachaka already has that sense of mam okay punaha milamaha again let us meet punah milamaha or punah milamaha okay i think uh, punar milamaha i think it will go repa if you do sandhi it will go punar milamaha something like that repa arka uh, action will come there on top on the hook okay but here it split shown punaha milamaha like that sadhu sadhu this is typically sold with that kind of break sadhu sadhu like that good good very good sir one question here yes sir uh, this uh, puna punaha milamaha this hmm. is when many people are there so, say for example only two people are there friends are there hmm. so do we say punaha milavaha or... no pra- you are very good very <laughs> if you want to be very accurate you can say punaha milavaha very good very good Uh, but there is no harm if you just use it like a figure of speech and say punaha milamaha no problem okay, okay. because there can be many meetings right so it's okay, okay. 
to say milama in yeah. plural sense because if two friends i mean just meet and they want to part so they just wanted to ask that milava hai is correct you are right scientifically accurately okay. technically milavaha should be said not maha maha is plural so maha should be yeah. used when three or more are meeting yes right. sadhu Thank sadhu very sir, good sir uh, this this is a uh, uh, atmane padi no 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 milamaha it's a simple mila si milati milatah milanti milasi milatah milatha milami milavah milamah simple let uh, parasmai padi only acha parasmai padi hmm. check it check it later don't don't complicate okay. the life okay, right okay, now okay okay huh? Uh, mm. we'll check it i we just learnt a little bit that there is a sense called atmane parasmaya etc that's we will see don't worry okay. about it okay. sadhu sadhu very good uttamam very good uttamam appreciation uttamam uttamam clap clap like that <laughs> bahu samichinam very very proper okay samichinam means proper very appropriate okay in the sense of very fine okay bahu samichinam shubhashaya shubha aashaya aashaya means desire shubha aashaya means uh, holy good desires best wishes wish also is a good translation for aashaya okay abhinandanani nandana means to please abhinandanani please pleasure to you congratulations that kind of thing okay <laughs> so nice uh, things we learned so with this we will uh, conclude our morning session afternoon session we will get into this subhashitam and probably quickly conclude this lesson 1 and start the lesson 2 of today afternoon so let's gather back at uh, 3 o'clock after a nice lunch and a rest break please gather back in good numbers and we will uh, continue i will do a prayer to close out the morning session sahana bhavatu sahanau bunaktu sahaviryam karava vahai tejasvi namade tamastu ma vidvisha vahai om shanti 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 hari om